Kima Tiles is built upon the foundations of 400 years of heritage. Our tiles have added character to buildings, both old and new, all over the world. We've been recognized as world-class tile makers as far back as 1876, when we won an award at the Philadelphia Exhibition. Kima Tiles is the genuine home of handmade tiles. The process begins in the clay pit, where the clay, laid down around 120 million years ago, is excavated. The clay, a mixture of red and blue clays, is allowed to weather for around a year before being taken to the hoppers and fed up the conveyor belt to the wet pan. This is where the clay is broken down, passing through 13 mm wide grids and dead plates. Water and barium carbonate is added at this stage to increase moisture in the clay and to neutralize soluble salts. The clay then moves along to the high-speed rollers before being fed into a pug machine, which produces double columns of clay, which are cut into six-foot sections. These sections are then sliced into tile-sized pieces with wire and then taken to the makers. The makers add sand to the tiles to give them their color. Different amounts of manganese oxide in the sand gives the different colors of red, antique, and Elizabethan. The raw tile is placed in the mold. It's pummeled, and the excess clay is wired off, and finally the punch is brought down to form the nibs, holes, and maker's identification marks. Each tile is stamped with a code, which allows Kima to identify when a tile was manufactured and who by. The impression of the maker's hand is left in each tile, a unique feature of Kima handmade clay tiles. The fittings and specials are made by using profiles to cut the clay to the required shape. The piece is then placed over a former to give it its shape. The tiles are then left to dry for around 7 to 10 days, during which they shrink by 5% before being taken to the setting docks. The cars on the docks can hold 5,400 tiles and are arranged so that when in the kiln, the heat permeates right through the car evenly. As the tiles are loaded, they're checked for defects. The tiles are then loaded into a pre-dryer where they stay for two days to reduce the moisture content to below 1%. The dry tiles are then loaded into the shuttle kilns where they're baked for up to a week and reach temperatures of up to 1000 degrees centigrade. This ensures that the tiles remain durable and that they will not be affected by frost. They shrink by a further 7% in this process. The fired tiles are taken to the drawing dock where they're sorted into crates. The drawers inspect the tiles by hand for faults, ensuring the quality of the tiles. The tiles are then taken out to the stocking yard, awaiting the orders. A 
then out to grace rooftops all over the world.